What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another OBS Studio feature guide. In this video, I'll be running through brand new features added in OBS Studio 28 Beta 1. And of course, it'll apply long into the future. If anything changes, you'll find an update linked in the description down below. In this video, I'll be running through the brand new features, plugins, and changes regarding NVIDIA RTX broadcast integration. If you have an RTX 20 or above graphics card from NVIDIA, then congratulations, you can use some fancy new features in OBS Studio. While some of them were available previously, some of them weren't available to this extent. However, that being said, you will need the RTX Studio Broadcasting SDK installed, which you'll find linked down below, not only just the latest pre-release of OBS Studio, for which you'll also find a download link below. I'll open up the Broadcast SDK installer over here, NVIDIA's website. I'll scroll down and we'll need to install whatever we'll be using on my computer. I have an RTX 30 graphics card, so I'll be downloading the Video Effects option right over here and the Audio Effects option as well. So I'll open both of these in new tabs and they'll both be downloaded to my PC. The video effects is around 800 megs and the audio effects is around 600 megs. When installed, of course, it'll take some more space. And surprisingly, they haven't updated this section here to include OBS Studio under the video effects as that's one of the new exciting features added. I'll lightly be touching on it here. They have failed, so I'll simply resume them and open them when they're done. So following through the video effects installer, I'll agree here, wait for it to install and nothing crazy happens. Then I'll also install the audio effects and once again, agree and continue. This is using a different installer, but it's really simple. Close and it's done. There we go. Now we have the broadcast SDK installed. I'll be opening up OBS Studio 28 or above here. Currently it's beta one. I'll launch anyway, as I'm currently recording using it. And there we go. Let's set it up. So we have NVIDIA broadcast effects for audio and for video. Let's start with audio. I'll choose either an audio source here, right click and choose filters under the sources section. If you've added them manually or if you've defined your inputs and outputs in these settings here, you'll find them only under your audio mixer. I'll need to click the three dots here instead, then filters. It's the same thing, just depending on how you set up your audio in OBS. I'll click the plus in the bottom left and inside of here, we can choose noise suppression, which isn't anything too fancy, but in here, we can choose from a couple of options, including the new NVIDIA noise removal plus room echo removal option here. This is for my microphone here. You won't hear anything too crazy as well. I already have a physical compressor and gate in front of me. It removes pretty much all of the noise. So I'm selecting it here, nothing crazy is going to happen. All we get is a zero to one slider for how intense this audio effect is going to be applied. We have noise removal and room echo removal, just room echo removal and just noise removal over here. Depending on what you select, your graphics card will be using its power to do whatever you choose here. Do note that this does actually use your physical GPU. So if we head into settings here, so if I open up task manager, then head across to the performance graphs, you should see that the GPU here has some usage. And if we change these options around, say removing this back to the CPU option, you'll see that things happen here and we've actually lost some GPU usage. If we re-enable same noise removal, you'll see my GPU usage rises. And of course this could cause an FPS drop in games, etc. Though it is very stable as you can see here. Let's go for, say, echo removal instead. It goes down a little bit, but there's still a bit more above baseline. Finally, noise removal and room echo removal. Both of these running at once, you should see it goes up a little bit. Well, not too much. That's actually really good. So only about maybe 5 or 10% usage on my RTX 3080 Ti. In the future with the 40 series and whatever, this will definitely not be an issue. But for now, you may notice a certain drop in FPS when you have these features enabled. However, if you're in an incredibly noisy room and you really benefit with these on, it's absolutely worthwhile having these on so people can hear you more than gaining an extra 10 or 20 FPS while you're recording, gaming and or streaming. So that's the only real change to the audio filters here. For now, I'll remove this and I'll head into the video filters. So I've added my camera here. Hello. And I can configure things as per usual. I'll fix the flickering and maybe zoom in a bit. There we go. All right, so let's test out this background removal. I'll make myself a bit bigger here and I'll right click the source here. Then I'll choose say filters and under the effect filter in the bottom left, we can click add, then NVIDIA background removal. 
click OK here, and we can start customizing how it works. Essentially, we can drag a threshold around to change what is considered background and what is considered foreground. And we have two options here, which is quality and performance, though neither of which seems to be working. Maybe I need to restart my PC. No, nope, they're definitely working. It's just not doing anything in this preview window here. So as you can see, my background is being removed pretty well. It seems to have edge detection and things like that down pretty much as good as zoom and whatever else, though there's still quite a bit of visual artifacting. Of course, we can change it between higher quality and performance mode, though nothing too much has changed other than artifacting and weird edge detection. And of course, we have a threshold. The higher this is put, the less background should come through. But of course, the more weird glitches you'll see into yourself rather than around yourself. And lowering the threshold here, it'll add more artifacts on the outside of you rather than the inside and change the detection as necessary. For you, you'll definitely need to play around with this and find out what works for you and what doesn't. Usually somewhere around the midway mark or higher is good enough. But when you're done with that, it's pretty good. It works exactly as you would have hoped. So goodbye to me. That's all of the brand new features for NVIDIA RTX and the broadcast SDK that have been added to OBS Studio version 28 and above. That's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name is Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.